Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm going to quickly show you a quick preview on some of the new cool stuff with Minecraft Education Edition. It's pretty awesome because now you can code with Scratch and you can code with Tinker, which is like super awesome. So just a quick preview, just to kind of give you a glimpse of things. Later on down the line, I'll probably have some more in-depth videos, but for now, I just wanted to give you a quick peek. All right, so like I said in another video, I'll show you how to download and establish the connections between Scratch and Tinker. It's actually pretty easy. But for now, here's a quick simple sample on Scratch. We have destroy forward block, move forward, and collect blocks all in a repeat block. And then we're going to turn right and destroy the last block here. It's pretty cool. But moving on to Tinker, I feel like Tinker has more blocks and more going for it right now as opposed to what Scratch can do. Um, that'll probably change in the future. So here we have Tinker. Um, we're gonna get a good view here, then we're gonna start dragging out some of the blocks. So here in events, we're gonna drag out the on start. And here's a quick preview of all the other blocks we have here. All right, now we're gonna head over to control. We have if statements, forever loops, repeat loops, all the good stuff. I'm gonna drag out a repeat block because I'm going to use it shortly. I'm also going to use a delay. Wait one second. We'll use that later on. And then here you have your good old operators, your math functions, your boolean, strings, stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. Moving on to variables, you can obviously make variables here. Create lists as well. Here's a quick preview. All right, now heading over to functions, you can add functions, stuff like that. And then over here in events, we have some interesting things. You have all of these blocks here. When block is broken, when mob is killed, cool stuff. Uh, here in agent, we have uh, stuff like move forward, collect apple, destroy forward, attack. So I'm going to use this move forward block. We're going to put it in this repeat block. I'm going to change the repeat. I only want him to do it three times, so we'll use that. And we'll probably put this up here. All right, now we're going to go over here to Tinkerbot. Uh, we have some other cool things here. You can turn, uh, you know, move them to a specific location. I'm going to move them to me, the player. Now, heading over here to Utilities, we have Summon, which is pretty cool. The only weird thing is that I've had some luck with getting it to work. I don't know if it's a glitch or I don't know if I'm not doing it correctly, but we're going to give it a try. Let's see if we can make it work. Uh, it says summon skeleton at Tinkerbot. Um, usually it doesn't work for me. Sometimes it does. It's just a matter of a gamble. And then we'll go over here to the world block. We can set the time to 22. We can do other cool things here. Uh, you can summon a chicken or whatever, summon something to a specific location. Maybe we'll get that working in the next video. Then we're going to put this in a repeat block. Maybe I made a mistake here. Let me take this repeat block out. Okay. So we're going to have, we're going to try to summon like 10 skeletons, see what happens. So here we have everything all lined up. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's start. Right. So then the Tinkerbot moved to me, and then we set the time. As you can see, the time changed a little bit. He moved forward, but I don't see any skeletons. Like I said, I don't know why it does that. But in the next video, we'll probably try the other block that has uh, summon at a specific uh, set of coordinates. This is just a quick preview of the potential of Minecraft Education Edition. It's pretty awesome stuff. All right, guys, take care. Peace out.